platinum trophies 100% completion of all achievements in this video i'll be doing it for the first time ever my game of choice chivalry 2 with a difficulty rating of 7 out of 10 this will definitely not be easy these are the achievements i will have to do uh, 41 in total most of them are pretty straightforward but there are definitely some i'm not looking forward to like getting 100 meter kill or killing 13 people with bread since this is my first time playing this game i decided to do the tutorial and i'm actually glad i did it because i learned a bunch of stuff i also got stuck on some of the parts like the stupid combo things and i ended up just skipping it anyway i eventually finished the tutorial and started my first ever game i charged into the battle with my team and for some reason <laughs> there are some really weird sounding battle cries in this game Anyway, I engaged my first ever fight, and look at that, I kill already. But yeah, I died not long after that. I charged back into battle, hoping to get another kill, and then boom! I just died like that! But yeah, I quickly realized that this game was a lot harder than I initially thought it would be. Anyway, not long after, I got my first achievement, which was to get 10 kills. If you ever feel bad about wasting your money, just remember that 7% of the people that bought this game haven't even managed to get 10 kills. Like, bruh, what's the point? About 15 minutes later, I burned to death and got my second one. I ended my first game with a beautiful KD and a defeat. But at least I got two achievements, so honestly, a pretty good start. The next game was equally chaotic, but I pretty quickly got another achievement, which I think you get for killing someone with a weapon you picked up, while they also had a weapon they picked up. Yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes I really just had no idea what was going on. Like, here I was just casually walking, and then this just happened. Apparently that was suicide? No, that was a trap. And of course, at the end of the game, I once again had a terrible KD and my team lost. Third game. Desert! I got the achievement for getting revived. Well, I was literally dead like half a second later. Somehow I ended this match with one KD, but of course, another what? defeat. Three games, four achievements. Honestly, this was a really good start, <laughs> but things only got worse from here. The next game, my team actually won, but I got zero trophies. Game after that, zero trophies. Next game, zero trophies. For the next few hours, I decided to just grind kills and then record some achievements because sometimes it's hard to guess when they will pop up. But anyway, I got make an enemy fall to death, revive 10 teammates, 100 kills as a knight, 50 kills overall, 100 kills overall, and two kills in a row while under 25 health. After that, I played some more and got another four achievements. The next achievement I decided to go for was to get 50 kills in one match. And that's pretty tough for someone like me. So to do it, I went on this small map and and set the game mode to first to 50 which was perfect for this so now all i had to do was get 50 kills before anyone else also i found out you can do this in a bot lobby so yeah that's why everyone has these generic names anyway i won with 50 kills and therefore got the achievement also during the game i got the achievement for 500 kills but for some reason it didn't pop up after that i stayed on the same map and i used the archer class so i could get the 100 kills as an archer achievement the next trophy i went for was getting 10 kills with only my fist so yeah i had to literally run around the battlefield just punching people obviously since i had no weapon i couldn't defend myself so i had to use my amazing dodging skills but of course sometimes this wouldn't work but anyway i eventually managed to get it done next achievement i went for was to get 13 kills of bread and was once again on the small map because this map just had a bunch of bread on it this achievement was not easy since the bread obviously did little damage so what i would do was i'd hit the enemies with my knife to damage them and then i'd just throw the bread at them to get in the final hit that would kill them and yeah i did die a lot while doing this There we go. And look at that, only 0.7% of players have this. After this, I randomly got win Agatha 10 times and fight in the shade. The next achievement I decided to go for is even rarer and harder to do than the bread one. It's the 100 meters kill achievement. Obviously for this, I was using an archer and I tried finding some good spots on random maps, but none of them were successful. I decided to do some research and I found this guide which told me to go on this statue and just shoot, but I literally did this for like an hour and didn't get it. So yeah, fuck you guide. At this point, I was getting pretty frustrated. So I switched off the game, went to the gym, did a pretty nice workout. And the first game back, this happened. After that, I played a bit more off camera and I got kill 1000 enemies, 5 cocks wins, and win as a mason 10 times. 
and Masons is basically the red team. Next, I decided to do the 200 counter achievement. It was pretty difficult to figure out at first because uh, I guess the timing and everything was kind of hard to get. But after some time, I was able to do it perfectly pretty much every single time. And pretty quickly, I got my next trophy. I decided to finish off all the kill achievements. And to do this, I went to this small map set to max bots and made the game mode first to 50 kills. And basically for the next hour, I just grinded this and eventually got the 1500 kill achievement and finally the one for 2000 kills. The next trophies I focused on were the map win ones. So I had to get 5, 10 and 25 wins on a map. And these would take a lot of time since I had to do this on 4 different maps. Like what dumbass thought this was a good trophy? Achievements are supposed to be, you know, fun challenges, not something that makes me want to jump down the stairs. Anyway, to make my life a tiny bit easier, I came up with a strategy. I went to offline mode, picked the map I had to get wins on, and then I just set the bots to the lowest number. After that, I would go to the defending team and I could literally just sit there doing nothing. Since there were so little bots, they would fail to capture the objective and I would therefore win. Easy, right? Right? Now I just had to do this like 100 times. Oh, and also this didn't work on all of the maps. So like you see this map, uh, the siege of whatever. Yeah, I couldn't just stand around on this map. I had to actually move around and fight. Otherwise the bots would actually complete the objective. So yeah, that just, uh, just made everything so much more annoying. Anyway, pretty soon I got 10 wins and many games later, I finally got the achievement for 25 wins. Two maps done, two more to go. Next up was the Battle of Dark Forest and somehow this map was even worse than the previous one. As the defender, my first objective was to defend this barricade. But this was almost impossible and I only managed to do it once. So yeah, when I failed at that objective, the next one was to stop the convoy. And usually I was able to successfully stop it and therefore win the game. However, sometimes I would fail that too and then would go into the third objective, which was to defend the gatehouse. Now, once it got here, I was always able to finally stop the enemy and win the game. Except for one time and at this point I just had to quit the game. But you know how it goes, a bunch of hours of grinding and I eventually got the 5, 10 and 25 wins. Now the final map. The fall of Lion Spire. Another achievement I still had to do was to get 50 siege weapon kills. And this map actually had a lot of ballistas which counter siege weapons. So I decided to do that achievement as well. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? You guys might realize that it takes really long to reload ballistas, which kind of sucks, right? But I actually found this little cool trick to make them shoot faster. So basically, as soon as you shoot the ballista, you get off it and then you go back on it and boom, it's automatically reloaded, just like that. And using this method, I was able to just spam it and pretty quickly got the achievement. Now back to getting wins on this map. The first objective wasn't too bad, I guess. I did manage to stop the enemy on it a few times. Sometimes it would go into the second objective. All right, there, there's a guy. Look at this brave guy coming. Here. Get the hell out of here, bro. However, sometimes I'll get pushed back all the way to the third objective. But this is the furthest it would ever go, and I never lost it. So yeah, anyway, I played this for a bit and got the 5, 10, and 25 wins. Now, with all the win achievements finally done, I only had one left, which was to deflect 100 projectiles. Now, there was no counter for this, so I had no idea how much I had already done. So I was expecting another long grind. I read that this could be done by stopping arrows with your shield. So that's why I tried to do, but <laughs> it wasn't easy, especially since it was against real players. Honestly, I had no idea if I was even doing this correct. But then suddenly during the first game, the achievement just popped up. I have no idea how, but yeah, there we go. All 41 achievements done. Only took me 58 hours. Oh man, that is, that is a lot. All right, now there's only one thing left to do. 